Yes, this is awesome. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and welcome to today's live stream for a Thursday, Thursday the day this stream is going out, covering how to make explosion sound effects. Huge explosions and ah, crashes and bangs and rumbles and rises and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so digging into the, uh, the kick drums on many synthesizers today, using a few tools inside Adobe Audition, and uh, no doubt I'll be uh, delving into uh, the MIDI assets that Logic Pro 10 has, so uh, stand by for that. It's all going to be rather exciting, but how are you today? Let me know in the chat if you're watching live, and of course if you're watching on the replay, you can fast forward nine minutes and get straight into the content of today's show, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm so excited about this. Alexa, winter is coming. Alexa, beam me up. Alexa, tea, Earl Grey, hot. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa, I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Thanks. David Silk's in. Nice to see you there. David Hunter's arrived too with uh, food. <laughs> Pizzia's there as well. Uh, what else have we got here? The almighty Nightbot. Artificial intelligence looking after things. Uh, just like Alexa. Yes. Oh, I said it again. Oh, they're, they're Siri as well. My goodness. So many different... Um, AIs with me today. Alexa, open the pod bay doors. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm not Hal and we're not in space. Hey Siri, will artificial intelligence take over the world? Okay, I found this on the web for will artificial intelligence take over the world. Not very helpful then. <laughs> so ready to explode in around seven minutes, which is going to be fantastic. Can't wait for that. Uh, let me know who you are and where you're watching from, by the way, if you're in here early. Um, what else have we got here? David Lewis is back live with us today. Nice to have you back, David. Watched yesterday's show about 2 o'clock in the morning after being on the air. Wow. Dedication. Thank you, David. Appreciate that. Liberty Christian Church, Maryland. Good stuff. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Peter Young's in. Dave. Dave. Going back to our space odyssey from yesterday, aren't we? KD, nice to see you. Saying, I found your videos really helpful. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. And thank you for turning up live to a show as well. Seriously, seriously uh, impressed by that. Paul Anthony's there. Nice to see you back, Paul. Alexa, what is the loneliest number? One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do, although two is the loneliest number since the number one. Interesting. Alexa, what does the fox say? Ah he, ah he, ha he. Nice. <laughs> So good to see Mr. Mega Radio UK back in. Paul Orr in Tennessee. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, that's a good one, David. Play a jingle. Ask Alexa to play a jingle. <laughs> Wonder if she can do that. She can play podcasts, actually. And she can listen to radio stations via TuneIn. Reason I'm uh, messing about with Alexa right now is uh, Amazon had a secret event uh, just recently and they announced a whole line of new products. 
just in time for Christmas. How funny. Can I give a shout out to the LVOS community? There you go, done for you, KD. Isabella's in, and that name, the Fairy Queen, is definitely sticking. Isabella is magic, after all. Waiting for amazing tips from Panama City. Hey, Alexius. Oh, careful, careful. Alexa, guess. No, she didn't understand that. Alexa, roses are red. Violets are blue. Thank you. Alexa, say a bad word. I really shouldn't say anything rude. Alexa, are you lying? I don't lie. I'll always tell you what I know. <sighs> what a relief. I know, let's do the mic check. Alexa, testing, one, two, three. Receiving, over. Awesome. Yeah, I have no idea what kind of pills Alexa has had, Pete. <laughs> What's up with the techno jingle, David? Have to check that out. Rovigo55 is back. Nice to see you, Rovigo55. Alexa, are you a robot? I'm Alexa, but I talk to you through this. Nice. Let's get a random fact. Alexa, random fact. During World War I, the US government renamed some German concepts. German measles became Liberty measles. Sauerkraut became Liberty cabbage. Even hamburgers became Liberty sandwiches. Wow. <laughs> that is magic. Liam's asking me to ask Siri to swear. Why, what does Siri say? Say a naughty word, Siri. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Yes, I'm not happy with my Siri voice at the moment. I usually have the female assistant selected. Um, but I don't know, I've got the uh, British male Siri at the moment. Anyone else experiencing audio problems? Katie is just saying there's a, there's a bit of a static on the audio. Anyone else experiencing that? Let me know in the chat, please. Very juvenile asking Alexa and Siri to swear. I do quite like my, um, my Google Assistant. Right, get wet ready. We are going live very soon. Uh, be sure to share this with a friend who you think might find it of interest. I do have OK Google. Let's just give OK Google a test. OK Google, what time is it? The time is 1.58 p.m. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get ready to go then. We're about to go live in one minute from now. Testing the left speaker. Left. left. Testing the right speaker. Right. right. Testing phaser. 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 Full frequency sweep. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by for music radio creative live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music radio creative live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds.
Hello and welcome to the show today where we are making explosion sound effects just just like that one that you uh, you just heard there. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. This is the show for you if you have an interest in audio in any way whatsoever. Uh, so you might uh, be a, a radio host, you might be a DJ, a podcaster, a business owner, uh, someone with a passion for jingles, anything like that. Uh, also, I am an audio geek. You might well be one of those as well. Whatever you are, you are most welcome to this show. And do go and spread the good news and let your friends know uh, that we do it live every day, Monday to Friday, from 2 p.m. UK time. This is my from music radio and I'm so glad to see my friend Juan is watching because Juan, wow, I am so stunned. I want to say a big thank you to you. Juan is uh, there in the chat right now. Send me a package all the way from Mexico to the Isle of Wight. And look, I am wearing your shirt today, Juan, on the live stream. Look at that. That is a real Aztec calendar, apparently. Wow. So amazing. Uh, so, yeah, not not only that, Juan sent me this shirt, which I love. I love kind of shirts with, like, logos like this and just, like, yeah, oh, just blows my mind. But also, Juan knows I'm an audio guy and uh, packed here inside. I can't wait to stick this one on. I'll probably wear it another day on a live stream. This is a T-shirt with an audio console, or you can see green screen bleed because, of course, the, uh, the audio is in green. Um, but apparently that all glows in the dark as well. So if I was to switch off all the studio lights, um, I don't know if it would work now. Hang on. Let me just try and switch off the studio lights and see what happens. Ah, no, I've still got the uh, the top light on. I'll have to do it later. But that's really, really cool. So I've got like an audio mixing board uh, shirt, which is awesome. I'm definitely going to wear that. Look at that. That's really cool with a green screen, isn't it? Woo. Uh, so thank you for that, Juan. And, and not only that. Oh, Juan sent me a handwritten letter all the way from Mexico, which uh, I'm really stunned by because it's not common these days to get handwritten letters, is it, in the post? Uh, and this has come all the way from uh, just near Mexico City. Um, and Juan has sent me, uh, it, it tells me, uh, I'm sending you this package with two T-shirts, one with a cartoon of the Aztec calendar, so you have a Mexican souvenir, and the other with an audio console that's sensitive to uh, the, um, that oh, the, yeah, the kind of black light that illuminates things. So I need one of those probably. Uh, so wear it out to a club and it will glow. Wow. Um, but not only that, Juan has sent me a Region Zero DVD, which is in this little package here. And uh, apparently it's got some really, really good uh, Mexican music on it uh, that I will have to have a listen to. So I am grateful, like, Super, super grateful, Juan, uh, for that gift. Just amazing stuff. Uh, big love and hugs from us here at Music Radio Creative going to you and your family, Juan. And I really hope uh, that you're staying safe and you're picking up the pieces after the uh, the terrible news of the Mexico earthquake. So thank you very much. And let's get into the show. Now, of course, I do mention your comments uh, usually every 15 minutes during the live stream. So wherever you're watching, uh, whether that be YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch, Periscope, uh, make sure to post your comments and I'll get round to them as fast as I can. I was messing about with Alexa before we went live. Uh, if you've not heard of this website, echosim.io, uh, go over there, log in with your Amazon account and give it a go. If you didn't know about this already, you can actually talk to Alexa. I said, Alexa, surely you can't be serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Thanks. <laughs> so it's really good. And I was just messing about with it um, uh, pre-show just for a laugh and because I've already got uh, the dot as well in our house, which is very nice and uh, very efficient, good at playing music. Um, but I was reading just today in the Telegraph that uh, Amazon have announced a slew of new um, audio assistants uh, available for you uh, in time for Christmas, funnily enough. Uh, the new Echo looks rather slick, doesn't it? Rather nice. Uh, there's an Echo Plus now, uh, which is uh, sort of more like the old uh, sort of Amazon Echo original, I would say, just with a new skin on it. Echo Show, uh, where you can actually make video calls and send messages to your friends and family. There's the Echo Spot as well. Uh, the Echo Connect, no idea what that is. Apparently it's not available in the UK until early next year. But I'm so excited about this. Echo Buttons. 
Amazing. <laughs> and this is not a promotion for Amazon, by the way. I get no affiliate kickback for uh, mentioning this. I just thought it might be of interest to you uh, as we all talk to these audio assistants at some, some time or another, I'm sure. Uh, and I can't wait to just slam a button and, and have an action happen in, in, in the building. That would be amazing. Apparently, they're going to be pri- priced just under 20 uh, British pounds, and they'll be out here in the UK at least before Christmas and probably uh, the US, Canada and uh, other parts of the world too. So there we go. But we all have our favourite assistants, don't we? Uh, at the end of the day, if they get the job done, they get the job done. Uh, right, I'm going to tell you a few more things later on. Let's get stuck straight into creating explosion sound effects. And uh, <laughs> I thought I would fire up Logic Pro X today um, because really it's uh, it's just got a ton of really good drum machines, drum synths, even original uh, drum kits that we can use uh, to create something that sounds amazing. So what I'm going to do, I've also got Adobe Audition loaded up here. And in fact, a load of projects, loads and loads of projects loaded up. Uh, So let's just clear that all down and we can start fresh from the beginning. And uh, I'm going to start off by generating my own effects, but then I want to show you how it's possible to um, to grab other effects from libraries, for instance, and uh, use them to make your own explosions. Uh, (laughs) I see David saying, why don't you smash something? (laughs) <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, well, absolutely. That's why it's it's always good to to bring a portable microphone, uh, condenser mic, of course, like the uh, Roland R-05. Take it with you next time you go to the recycling center and uh, and just hold it up over the uh, the bins. I might do that one day, actually, and you'll grab yourself a, a load of crunches and crashes and explosions and bits. Um, yeah, I mean, just you can go to the, the wood and hear the clanking of the wood or uh, always a good one is to go to the glass recycling area where people are smashing bottles and you get all those kind of broken glass effects. Uh, but today we're going to start off. Uh, let me make sure the audio inputs are all set up correctly here. Uh, yeah, I want to record uh, channels 9 and 10 here on my mixing desk, not 9 and 9, 9 and 10. Uh, and then I'll start this recording. I'm just going to get a few uh, kicks Uh, from Logic in, but I can layer up and then I'll show you some of the effects I'll put on inside Adobe Audition. So over here uh, in Logic, I've literally just started a new project. Got a MIDI keyboard here as well, so I can easily play the kicks. And uh, what I did uh, was I went into the library here and you've got all kinds of different options. I went into electronic drum kit. Obviously there's a a traditional drum kit, so I'll probably swap between uh, electronic uh, synthesized sounds and uh, the uh, the kind of sampled sounds that you get with Logic. And I'm pleased to report that since yesterday, all 42 gigabytes of Logic sounds have re-downloaded uh, to my computer. Uh, so I'm going to go into Drum Machine Designer, and let's start just with After Party here. Uh, so that fires up into my first channel here. And you'll see it's using the uh, Drum Machine synth, and I know that that's a... Uh, do you hear that? A very uh, small kick, Uh, but we can go through these and get some other kicks, and the idea is just to sample as many as we can. So there's another kick, and let's get another one from Atlanta. And Beat Machine as well, and I'm probably going to... I need to find really fat kicks, that's what I'm looking for, really beefy kicks. And all these different kicks will sound different, they'll have different frequencies to them, and uh, just generally be... Oh, that's nice. I'm sure I can do something nice with that. Deep Tech, let's go for that. Drop Kick, that looks interesting. And Snap Back. Whoa, Silver Lake, let's try that. And then we can go over to uh, another drum machine like Electro Bump. Wow, that's cool. These are, these are much better actually, these. Epic Electro, Dub Smash, let's go for that. Classic UK Hip Hop. Indie Disco, and why not, let's go for the Drum Machine GB as well, see how that sounds. It's Seismic GB, whoa, that's actually, I like the Seismic one, that's got a real sort of sonic bass sound to it, uh, and of course these are all made in the Ultra Beat uh, synth here, so obviously see that's kick two, but there's also kick one here, so I can use that, and actually I might just go through and use kick one on a few of these and just see if any of them are interesting. Nice. And I'm going to be laying these up in Adobe Audition to create something amazing. Uh, Drum kit. Let's go in here and see what we've got now. So we'll get out of that Ultra Beat synth and we'll go for Bluebird. 
Let's see what we got here. So this is just one of those traditional drum kits. Uh, when you actually open up the interface, oh, uh, it just disappeared on me. It looks like a real drum kit. Let's hit the kick. Oh no, that's not the kick. Let's go for another kit. We can kind of swap through. And we'll look at these as well. Nice. Four on the floor. Manchester. Liverpool. Roots. And finally, producer kits. Oh, look at this. French connection. Let's go for that. Okay, I think we've got enough samples now to uh, last us for a while in this stream, so let me put my MIDI keyboard away, and we'll hop out of Logic for a moment and uh, hop over here to Adobe Audition. First of all, I am going to go um, into the spectral frequency display, and then I'm going to normalize uh, everything that I've got here uh, so that we can actually see those waveforms and see what we've got. As you can see, the spectral frequency display is really showing me uh, where the frequencies are for all of these drum kicks, which is amazing. Just, just amazing stuff. So I'm just going to now trim this down so I've got everything within easy access close to where I want it to be. Right, brilliant. That's good. So once you've sampled a load of kick drums from your favorite uh, MIDI activated door, you can then go and add some really fun and funky stuff to them. And I think I will by uh, creating a new multi-track session called explosions and let's layer up some effects. I'm going to go for no template instead of my MRC template as I'm doing more sound design today so no real vocal effects required at this present moment in time. Bring the kicks in and uh, just start to to layer and do some fun stuff. So first of all uh, the first thing you want to do with a kick to kind of extend it and give it that real exploding sound is you want to add some nice reverb and today I am going to go for a waves plugin called H reverb. I uh, really like waves and I really like H reverb. It's um, particularly fun and funky and you can get kind of longer effects on the kick. So let's go to something like this. That's quite nice. So let's take some of these kicks and now I'm going to start layering together a few different kicks to see what kind of result we can get and I'll put different reverb effects on each different kick okay maybe this one as well bring that over here pop that down there and let's have a listen to how that's all sounding now what other kicks I need something really meaty well that's quite meaty yeah, I really like that one, especially as it's got some nice decay on it. So we'll pop that down there. See what we're building up now uh, with all of these together. Looking good. And let's go for uh, some different presets. Over here, let's uh, put another reverb on. We'll go for uh, same again from waves. We'll go for a stereo reverb here. Let's go for some different presets here. Really zero in on the track I'm working on now. That's cool. Okay. So I'm just going to take a listen to all of this together now. And then what we'll want to do, if I mix this down, the time selection, is add a little bit of distortion into the mix and take this even further. I'm just going to mix down everything here, maybe make it a little bit stereo by panning some of these effects left and right. And let's drag this out a bit further so we've got nice decay time. Mix down the time selection. 
when we've got this. Now I'm going to go and use my effects rack in waveform view so I can do some extra stuff. Uh, first of all, I want to go to special distortion. And we'll just add some distortion on. Interesting distortion. That's pretty loud. <laughs> Beware of your speakers on this session. Um, now I might actually go ahead and use a few of these distortions. So let's just take this explosions mix down, pop it into a new file here. And I'm going to go for special distortion. Let's go for snakeskin is usually good. There we go. So just from a few kick drums now, we're starting to get what sounds like an explosion. And uh, we can generate as many of these as we like. So uh, when I've made an explosion I'm kind of happy with, I'm going to save this uh, down into my downloads folder. I'll call it explosion, explosion effects. So this will be E1. I'd like to create that folder. And I'm wondering whether to maybe add a little bit of reverb on as well. Let's try and crank on some studio reverb here. Just to give it that huge decay. Increase the frequencies. Nice. And if I take the low frequency cut up, you get a kind of thinner reverb. So I'm going to keep that reverb nice and full there. And then I will go into special and I'll add some mastering as well to make it even bigger. Let's look at the difference between top and bottom now as we turn up the loudness maximizer. Really huge bang. And uh, we can kind of widen the sound out a bit. So it's a really big stereo explosion there. Uh, maybe some exciter. Let's try some more. Kind of makes it very nice, gives it a nice frequency range, kind of enhances the highs. Maybe not too much though, because we don't want to sort of have any of that hissy crackle at the end. So that sounds good as explosion number one. Let's go back to uh, what I was working on over here. That's quite cool. So I'm going to use that distortion. So different distortions will give you uh, different effects. Um, let's actually take this over, put that into a new file, and we'll add on that distortion. So with the same layered um, kicks, you can actually get a completely different effect just by selecting different distortions and bits like that. Uh, let's apply this. And then I'm going to do a little bit of mastering over here. Special and mastering. Maybe take that down by a dB. And then obviously I need a little bit of reverb just to thin that out as well. So edit, uh, insert silence. Let's put 10 seconds of silence here. And uh, let's see, reverb. Uh, let's go for the full reverb here, see how that sounds. And we'll choose uh, different, uh, what should we go for here, for a preset. Uh, let's go for the empty living room. Maybe something slightly different. Ghost whispers or great hall, maybe that's going to be better for this one. Give it a second to calculate. Nice. So that's the Great Hall preset. Um, going to give that a second to breathe at the start because I think we'll get more out of it. So inserting some silence now at the start of this track. Pop it in. Not too much. Just a little bit. And uh, before I add that reverb effect, I'm going to use some analog delay. Maybe not that one. Let's have a look. What about just delay? That's kind of like a dual explosion at the same time, which is cool. Uh, all kinds of different uh, presets there, but let's just go with that. And then I'm going to add on my reverb, which was full reverb, the Great Hall preset, apply. And as you can see, that's why I put some breathing space. So we've got like a little bit of uh, an intro before the actual uh, explosion happens. Uh, 
And uh, actually, before I add the reverb on, what I am going to do is hang on, cut that out and do a little fade out over here. Nice fade so it's not so harsh at the end. And then we'll go in and reverb, full reverb, apply. Nice. Okay, so we'll put that as E2, Explosion 2. Uh, and uh, I'll get back to this, and I'm going to do something a little different using one of Adobe Audition's native effects to try and create an explosion. Uh, but first of all, as explosions are happening everywhere right now, let's see uh, what you're saying right now in the, uh, in the chat, in the live chat. If you want to get involved with the show, as always, you can do. Always grateful to get your feedback on what I'm talking about, any questions you've got, anything you want to ask, talk about, or mention on the show. If you're watching the live stream, you can just chat, chat it straight into the live chat box, and I'll do my best to read out anything that you mention. So get your chats in now on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitch, Periscope, and more. We are live right now. Audio production and more. This is Mike Russell on MusicRadioCreative.com. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, like I say, a uh, fantastic T-shirt. Lots of people saying great stuff to Juan, uh, who sent me this T-shirt uh, through the post, which is just amazing, isn't it? Uh, arrived today on the Isle of Wight from Mexico, which is amazing. Uh, good day to you, Robert, in Germany. Nice to have you there. Uh, yeah, we did have the uh, the Amazon Echo featuring in the show earlier, Pete. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to ask her about the BPM issue I've been having in Adobe Audition. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think she'll know. She's not quite that smart yet. Although I did have a play. Uh, this is referring to a few days ago. I discovered that in the echo uh, effect in Adobe Audition, let me just show you. When you add echo, uh, so continual echo to anything uh, here, I did not realize that there is actually the uh, opportunity to choose delay time units and change them to beats, which obviously would match the, uh, the beat you set in your preferences here on time display, 120, but I had it at 128 and it wouldn't do anything else apart from 120 BPM. Uh, and I was looking around and I did a bit of a Google and I went to the official Adobe Audition uh, manual on the Adobe website, couldn't find any reference to why I couldn't change the BPM and have the beats match that BPM. Uh, so I am pleased to report that I have filed an official bug report uh, with Adobe and um, we'll wait to see. They'll probably go back to me and say, hey, you're so silly the way you do it is this and I'll be like right okay and then I'll be able to uh, hopefully uh, give you a, a, an answer or a conclusion to that so yeah for the time being uh, no conclusion to it yet Hassan's in nice to see you Hassan uh, Mike were you the producer on your top of the hour I'm blown away by it uh, yes in fact Liam I the very latest jingle that you did order from Music Radio Creative I was the producer of that top of the hour and uh, wow thank you I am absolutely blown away <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Easy Media, uh, for the donation to the show via Super Chat. Uh, don't know if you can see that there. That's just about there. Easy Media from New Zealand has made a wonderful donation to help support the show. You can always do that using Super Chat, by the way. That's available to you via youtube.com slash music radio creative uh yeah uh, good link to download logic pro if you're getting into this by the way nice to see joe in moderating as well welcome back joe good to have you here and uh yeah let's get back now to uh our explosions uh and so far you'll see i have made uh two explosions um but i was hoping uh let's get rid of that echo from the effects rack I was hoping to um, to try something uh, with the generate tones uh, for a little different uh, explosion. So let's go down into the uh, the deeper frequencies, 100 hertz. Let's have a listen to this and change it maybe to a square. Okay, bear with me here because I'm going to generate a few tones and all will become clear in a second. Uh, here comes a new audio file. Again, we're generating a tone. Uh, this will be another frequency. No, too high. Let's go down a bit more. Let's go for that. And uh, one more. Why not one more? Effect, generate tones, and we'll go... Uh, down a bit more. 
And we'll change maybe to the sawtooth. Let's try that. Just going to have a mess with this. Let's just get a nice frequency here. That's a nice rumble hum. Okay, so uh, three of those uh, that we can whack in somewhere here in this sesh. Uh, let's just grab those and put those over there. Place them onto their own track. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like a spaceship taking off from yesterday, doesn't it? Uh, let's highlight them all, do a little fade in. What's going on there? That's interesting. Uh, so I'm going to go in with this H reverb. Uh, first of all, I want to go in and put some different, uh, oh, not guitar suite. <laughs> hey, go away, guitar suite. Uh, let's go for uh, distortion over here. And we'll go for swamp thing on this one. We can actually just mash it about. Maybe even. Let's go for infinite distortion. Okay, let's go for that. Then I'm going to go over here and let's actually have a look in our VST uh, plugins here, distortion. Uh, I've got some cool stuff here, M-Bit Fun. Let's try, this is from the uh, M-Free Effects bundle. Uh, these are all free plugins from Melda Production, by the way. You can get it at mrc.fm slash M-Free Effects. That's quite cool, isn't it? Let's have a look at some of these different presets here. Loads of presets here. Don't seem to be doing much. Let's change some of these. Uh, let's change the low pass. Maybe go for a different one in there. Let's go for distortion saturator. And again, all oh, the presets are all in here. Of course they are. And I'm actually going to try an Apple effect. There's Apple distortion as well, which might be worth to try out. Let's do some real crunching on this. And I'm going to take this, mix it down. And we are almost generating our own kind of 8-bit sound, aren't we? Uh, let's have a look here now. Um, parametric EQ. Let's just take off a load of high frequencies. Whoa. Get rid of that. There we go. And then I am going to... Now the best way to do this would probably be to bring that back in. Cut this. Fade it in. Do some little chops like that. Almost sounds like a, a light switch that isn't working or some electricity that's gone wrong, doesn't it? No, I need to make it much more juddery than that. Let's try it again. Like that. Okay, what have we got now? Take that all the way up to about there. Mix down that time selection. And then I'm going to distort it again. Whoa. 
Whoa, sorry about that. Let me just turn this down a bit. I had a feeling that was going to be a little bit loud. That's apply. It's called maximum pain for a reason, isn't it? Okay, and once we've distorted that, we are going to go back to our friendly reverb here. Uh, let's go for a bit of Waves reverb. If you're interested in picking up any Waves audio plugins, uh, go check them out and you can grab a 10% discount on any of their sales or regular prices uh, by going to mrc.fm slash waves if you're interested in any of their plugins, like the H Reverb, which is a very good one. Whoa. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's definitely going to be one style of effect. Let's fade that off at the end, and we'll call this E3. I'm just going to undo that reverb because I think we can do more with this. Effects and reverb. Uh, let's go for the Renaissance reverb. I haven't used that for a long time. Maybe. Maybe just that last bit is deserving of the reverb there. Uh, we've got the default there, but we can of course go for different sounds. See what works. Some are damper than others. It's kind of a, a quite a tight explosion, so I might take that and save that out. Save the selection. Or oh, no, actually. Well, yeah. Let's save the selection as E4, and undo that. And we'll go back to Renaissance Reverb again. Let's see what else we got in here. Gymnasium. That's cool. Save that as E5. And actually, I'm going to bring that in now. And remember, of course, you are listening to that, uh, where was that? Was it over here? Yes, it was. You were listening to that. That started life. That, that explosion that you just heard there, here, this one, started life as these three tones. Yeah, just three tones generated in Adobe Audition uh, with a bit of reverb and some distortion. And you get your very own explosion. So... Tons of ways you can go about uh, skinning a cat, as they say. Uh, you can either, of course, go and use kick drums, uh, which I did in the first 15 minutes in Logic Pro X, uh, and then bring them in, layer them up, and do distortion and reverb on them. Or you can, of course, uh, go ahead and generate your own tones right there in Adobe Audition without the need for any kick drums. When you think about it, at the end of the day, uh, a synth-like ultra beat that you'll find in Logic Pro is essentially just generating a ton of tones and melding them together. Uh, so if you know the right tones you need to create that really awesome sounding kick or explosion in this case, uh, you can just go ahead and generate those tones yourself. And something I didn't show you actually, uh, just before I head back over to the comments, have a quick look there, is that uh, if you go into generate tones, you not only can uh, generate a tone of your choosing at any frequency, uh, like this one. Let's have a listen or like uh, this one, let's make this. Uh, but you can, you can also use the frequency components, uh, and if we bring them in, it's gonna kind of layer up the tone you're creating. And you can change the, uh, the multiplier up or down, if you like, to get a, a wider or bigger sounding tone. So you can really get something crazy. And, uh, well, it would help actually if I brought them in. Let's play it again. Bring them right up. Whoa.
and all kinds of stuff you can do with tone generation so you can really knock yourself out when it comes to tone generation um, but in a second I will look to doing some more EQing uh, to create different styles explosions and also I'm going to go in and uh, grab a few sound effects from the uh, the archives here at MRC and see if I can't layer up some existing pre-recorded sound effects that somebody uh, a nice sound designer has gone outside on the field uh, to record maybe someone throwing their television set away or something like that uh, so we can just make something a, a little more dynamic and creative but it's always interesting to read your comments or of course talk to you on the phone Always love to hear from you on this show, and what better way than to do it live? Well, do it live, okay? 415-800-1055 That's the number you can call to speak to me live when I'm live streaming at Plus One if you're outside the US. MusicRadioCreative.com <laughs> what have we got here in the uh, in the chat? Um, very nice stuff. Yes, uh, <laughs> David saying that some of the uh, the little tones I were generating, <laughs> I was generating back there, <laughs> sounds like an annoying mosquito. Yeah. Yeah, some of them do. Believe me, we have a few of those around here on the Isle of Wight right now, and they're very annoying. They're like... Yes. Um, Do I do most of my production with my headphones on? Uh, Pete is wondering. Uh, No, actually, most of the time when I'm producing here in the studio, I tend to have headphones off and listen on the the studio monitors. Just I feel it gives me a a crisper and uh, and better sound. Uh, But horses for courses, when I'm on the move or um, when I don't have my monitors, headphones are definitely a go-to for me. Uh, thanks, David, for posting the uh, Waves Audio discount voucher that you can use. How to turn on the metronome beep in Adobe Audition. Uh, Risti says, hello from Macedonia, by the way. Uh, and uh, we will have Christmas jingles, Liam, uh, very, very soon indeed. Uh, whether we'll have one of the Gaia jingle, uh, the Music Radio Creative Gaia theme tune, uh, quite possibly. Watch this space. Um, okay, uh, let's go. let's go back over to Adobe Audition. I'll show you how to, gosh, it's been a while since I've used the metronome, but I think I remember. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, Toggle metronome, as you can see here in the multi-track, and that'll match the tempo of your track, which is 120. Can you hear that? So as long as you've got that clicked, you get a metronome uh, clicking away all the time. And I'm just wondering, now I've got that metronome, I'm just curious whether maybe a thought crossed my mind for those of you who've been watching before, maybe the metronome speed affects um, the echo. Now, why is that only in mono? Am I on a mono track? Let's have a look here. Where am I going? Let's go here and add some echo to this track. And let's go for beats. And we'll go for one beat, one beat and 0.5 beat delay. Wow. And then we go back to MS. No, it's still 120 BPM. I, there's definitely a bug I can't figure out there with the BPMs and the uh, the echoes. Hopefully, it will get fixed sooner rather than later. What's the music bed used in the jingle you played at the start of the show? Uh, is asking David. And also another David saying, we have a lot of Davids watching this show. I'm going to have to call you different, like David H, David L, and David S. <laughs> I have to get into doing that. Um, but, uh, well, let's answer the questions in order. So first of all, saving a template is really easy, uh, David L. All you have to do is, um, when you're in the multitrack and you've got something set up that you like, go to File, Export, uh, Session as Template. And then you give it a name, like explosions will do. And then when you click that, OK, let me just show you. Uh, yeah, OK, yeah, that's cool. Save it into my downloads folder. OK, yes to all. Yep, 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 yep. Everything's saved there. Great. And then I go back and start a new multi-track session. You'll see now in the templates, explosions has appeared. So that's how you do it, David L. Um, so the uh, jingle I played at the start of the show, you mean this one? I think you mean this one. <laughs> This is actually the Music Radio Creative Hermes theme. So if you're if you're looking for a jingle made with this theme tune, head on over to musicradiocreative.com. Get in touch if you can't find it there. Ask for Music Radio Creative Hermes. 
to get your Hermes jingle. And by the way, right now we do have available to you uh, a discount voucher, uh, which is uh, available for any purchase on the Music Radio Creative website whatsoever. We're offering 10% off uh, your final bill at Music Radio Creative, only to live stream viewers. Just type in the coupon code MRC Live when you check out at musicradiocreative.com. That'll give you 10% off across the board, whatever product, whether you're ordering a voiceover, a full production, or you're going for uh, something like one of our download packages, uh, like the imaging effects and things that we use uh, and I often use during uh, my live sessions. MRC Live is the coupon code. Uh, one other thing I should mention actually right now at this point, if you haven't filled out the survey, you've just got a couple more days to do it. I'm closing it at the end of the week. This is a survey that will help shape the future of the Music Radio Creative live streams. So if you want to uh, contribute and tell me what your ideal length of show would be and topics you'd like and all of that, uh, it's a very short one-page survey. Click submit and you're done. Uh, the link is mrc.fm slash survey. That's mrc.fm slash survey. Okay, that's the place to go uh, before tomorrow, if you would please, before Friday. Uh, yeah. Closing the uh, the survey on Friday, the 29th of September, 2017, for those of you listening in the future. Uh, right, let's go in and um, I'm going to actually grab now for my session uh, some explosions that I can kind of layer up. Uh, we did talk about glass shattering earlier, didn't we? So let's get a glass shatter because a, a really good movie style um, production is is nothing without... Yeah, let's... Oh, I can... That's quite good. We'll have some of that. I'm just going to literally just grab effects and I'm going to layer them onto different tracks here. And we'll, we'll, we'll have a mess about and see what we can create. Nice. Anything that's crunchy and crashy, I'm going to grab it and pop it in here. So here we go. So the glass shatter. Uh, I also want a kind of thunder sound. I don't want that to be too over the top. Uh, let's see what we can get here. That'll do. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's pull in the thunderclap. So again, uh, if you have access to a, a huge sound effects library, just search for things like glass shattering, thunderclaps. Uh, we can even look for uh, explosions as well. And then layering up to make your own unique sounds here. Let's see. Not quite. Well. That will do. That's a very nice one to start with. That's a good one too. Underwater explosion. Whoa. Okay, let's pull that in too. Uh, and then I reckon that's going to be enough to start playing with there. Slappy explosion and underwater explosion. Here we go. And we'll start changing the colors of these tracks just because I like to have some pretty colors to work with when I'm in the multi-track. There we go. Make it look all pretty. That's nice. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That's loud. That is loud. Let's line those effects up now nicely. Like this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Whoa. That's cool. Have we got any distortion on any of those tracks we have over there? Let's get rid of that distortion for a moment. Nice. Really, really cool. Uh, so that'll that'll be an effect that I'll I'll take and grab, and I'll actually go ahead and change some more. Uh, let's go into the effects rack and add on some, particularly on these boomy ones. Let's bring in the uh, frequency analysis for a second. Pop that up over here, or actually over there bring my essential sound back out what happened to whatever happened to essential sound there we go uh, right frequency analysis of this one and we're going to go in and do a little bit of parametric EQ Notching that up. And this one. Leave that as it is for the moment. 
Maybe do some EQ or maybe even distortion work on that. Let's have a look. Distortion. Let's bring that into context. Just kind of ripping that one up a bit. You can hear it kind of ripping in the background now. And I think I'm pretty happy with that layered up effect, so I will mix that down, uh, perhaps even add some uh, reverb to it as well when we get it back into the waveform view. And the best thing about these is, let's just have a play here, uh, Reverb Studio Reverb. Take the dry off. Nice, okay. We'll go with that. I quite like that as an explosion, and I'm going to call that, so that must be E6 by now, I'm guessing. Explosion number six. Um, is, uh, a lot of you have been asking in previous shows about the uh, possibility of uh, having risers. Uh, you know, those risers that go boom like that and end really nicely. Uh, so there is absolutely the possibility to do it. Uh, if I take uh, this audio, which is E6, and go to a new file here. Uh, let's paste this in. And uh, if you reverse this, like so, uh, you'll get a kind of really nice sounding riser. Have a listen to this. So if those of you asking about where do I get all my risers from, maybe a really good suggestion is just to actually create your own. It's not too difficult. It's basically ex uh, reversing an explosion and you end up with something that sounds really super sweet. So now I'm just going to grab in, uh, here we go, this one here, and this one here, and then push them together. So you could do that, or um, obviously what I might want to do is make the ending bit a little shorter, so we've got a, a kind of riser looking like that. So there's there's your riser, and if you're not quite happy with that, you can you can bring something you created earlier in, layer that up just to make the the riser end nicely. Let's bring that in. Now that's probably a little bit too harsh. Let's have a look at uh, what do we have here for E2. Yeah, again, it's a uh, rather a long explosion there, so I'm going to move that up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so there's a riser. Uh, we'll mix that one down. Time selection. Um, we'll call this riser one. I might make another riser while I'm on the, uh, the subject of risers. Uh, could go through and just use a little bit of mastering to tighten it up and make it bouncy and fun. Cool. So you could definitely imagine using something like that in your imaging, couldn't you? If you're doing some uh, audio imaging, do do a nice smooth fade in, and oh no, we can we can chop off that, boom like that, done. That's going to be really nice. Very nice. So we'll call that. Let's call that riser one. Seeing as you love a good riser, I am going to create a second riser. Let's do it with uh, maybe E3. What was E3? No, E1. Let's take that. Or actually, what I'm going to do is take some more kick drums. I'm going to create another explosion. Uh, so let's do so now by layering up some more kicks and a bit of distortion and reverb into the mix. And we're going to be laughing with this. Here we go. Uh, just going to hop over, take a look at some of your comments. Uh, looking over at Facebook now, and I see Cliff's watching, Cliff Ravenscraft. Great to have you there. 
awesome stuff. Brian Goodwin as well. Uh, ATF as well. ATF, nice to have you watching our, over on Facebook Live. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got uh, Karibson. I think I've said your name correctly. <laughs> Over on Twitch, uh, my monitor has just died now. Thanks to all your explosions. <laughs> Amazing stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I'm definitely blowing up. Well, yeah, yeah, when you say monitors, sorry, I was thinking about uh, uh, your, your screen. But, yeah, your studio monitors. I'm definitely destroying them. Apologies for that. Uh, so who else have we got watching here? Ron uh, Bazengles says, cool. Uh, nice to have you there, Ron. Hugo Radio, sounding good, Mike. Sounding great, Mike, actually, is the, is the wording. Janello, uh, thanks, Mike, for the tip on reversing an explosion to create a riser. Absolutely uh, my pleasure. Dave is asking about that MRC Hermes theme. It may well not be on the website. Uh, if not, just drop us a line and we'll, uh, we'll be able to hook you up with that. Um, yeah, that's... Um, let me just play it again. This is my crossover from Music Radio That is the MRC Hermes jingle theme, and uh, we can have it resung for you for whatever purpose, for your radio station, for your your online radio show, your podcast, whatever it is, uh, we can do that for you. Uh, just go to musicradiocreative.com, uh, and if you want to get 10% off, uh, it's MRC Live is the coupon code. Okay, let's distort that up and turn that into a new explosion and riser. Uh, mix this down, the time selection. Here we go, and I'm going to use some distortion to really turn it into a bit of an explosion. Whoa, infinite distortion. No, let's go for something softer. Yeah, that could work, possibly. Actually, I'm going to layer up a few other things. I'm going to go in and bring into the mix here the Waves H Delay, which I think is just sweet. That's kind of like a, a kickback kind of explosion. Uh, and then if I, on top of that, apply a little bit of distortion as well. Actually, I wonder if um, in our distortion effects, we haven't got anything from waves, uh, unfortunately. Um, just thinking of what I could use. Obviously, I'll, I'll bring the native Adobe Audition distortion into the mix. I'm just going to have a play with that uh, H delay because it's not quite to my taste right now. Let's turn the low pass down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, awesome. We'll go with that. Maybe a little bit more on. Bit more. Nice. Okay, that's going to be E7. Let's just uh, make sure we master that a little bit. Turn the exciter right down and turn the compression up a bit. And let's take that down a few dB. A bit more. Nice. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. Uh, fade that off at the end. And then uh, we're going to save that as E7. Whoops, E ampsand even. <laughs> uh, holding down the shift key far too much there. Uh, right, let's just undo that a few steps and go with something else. Uh, also, I wanted to go in and use something like the, let's see here, modulation phaser. Let's see if we can get a... Well, that's cool, isn't it? Megaplexa is another one I like. Uh, Log Drummer. Oh, yeah, let's use that. Okay, bringing that in. Bring that down a bit. That's going to be E8. Get it right this time. E8. Nice. And then let's reverse that. And we'll bring that reversed E8 in now. 
along with something that I made earlier. So we got this. Let's pull that down there. And then I want a few more kicks just to give this a bit of a unique flavor. So let's give a unique flavor to this other riser. So what I'm hoping to do, by the way, if you would like um, all of the explosions and risers I've created in this tutorial session uh, as a free download, I will, um, I'll post them up in the community. But let me know if you'd like it and then I'll spend some time after I finish uh, packaging these up. If you would like uh, to grab a free download of everything I've made in this session, just type YES, all in capital letters, uh, in, the, uh, in the live chat right now, please. Uh, and then if enough of you say yes, then I will, uh, I will get to it, and I will, um, I will package these all up nicely and put them as a nice little contained download for you. That's cool. That's a, a nice clean slam out. Let's use maybe one more kick there. Cool. I don't even know if we need that. Awesome. Let me bring that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take that, mix this down. Uh, Multi-track mix down time selection. And we're going to have, here we go. Riser number two, riser two, and I'm going to try and do another one, or another two if I can in the last five minutes. Let's just mute this off for a second. Whoa, there's some funky old uh, noise going on on one of those kick drums. Let's try and isolate it. Better. Let's mix that down. Reverb it, distort it, and get another explosion. Uh, mix down time selection. And we'll go in and add a little bit more silence. Insert silence. 10 seconds of silence. Effects reverb. Let's actually go for our good old favorite, the H reverb stereo. Let's try and find something a little bit crazy. That could work. E9. And we'll go back again, bringing in the reverb. Let's go for true verb. Oh yeah, love the decay on the Millennium Verb. Let's take that. And actually I'm going to do one other thing with this. Just before the end of the show, pitch, no not pitch shifter. Well I suppose actually we could use a bit of pitch shifter. Let's try that. So we'll call that one E10. And I did have one other thought here, and that is to distort Swamp Thing. And we're going to do this. We're going to go for Time and Pitch, Pitch Bender. Bend that down a bit. And we're going to save that as E11. And I'm just in a mood of, of banging these out at the moment. Let's take this. Cut it in the middle. Go here. Similar effect here. Pitch bender. But we're going to go a bit wobbly here. I'm just going to go a bit wobbly. We've got spline curves on, so we should be okay. Back to the start. <sighs> Dig the decay on that. Boom, done, dusted, E12. 12 explosions, two risers, 
heading to you over at community.musicradiocreative.com as a free download. The only condition is I want to hear what you make with them. So make sure to share back with your projects. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, really nice to see uh, Cliff there in the chat on Facebook Live. Cliff Ravenscraft, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Brian as well. Uh, we've had uh, moderations from uh, David Silk. Uh, we've had Joe in as well, moderating. Uh, lots of you asking, yes, please upload the, uh, the free samples of the explosions you made in this session. I will do. Robert Derman as well. Make the show longer. <laughs> oh, I'd love to, but I think an hour is about the limit. Uh, apologies to you if I did not get to your comment. I always do my best to get to as many as I can. Can't always get to everyone, but do continue the conversation over at community.musicradiocreative.com. 